I'm going to show you how to take apart an external hard drive as mine broke on holiday. A um, couple of videos are on here. Um, so yeah, I'd like to recover the data that's on it and then maybe use the hard drive in my PC itself. This is the case of the external hard drive. It's empty now as I took the hard drive out already, but I'll explain to you how that works. There's four screw holes here, um, which are under these legs. This is a, la a lossy hard drive, by the way. Just fill these legs up like that, unscrew them, and you should be able to push the hard drive itself out. This is hard drive itself. Um, it's, it's in like a bracket and to get it out of the bracket you just unscrew this one, this one and this, these. I've left one in. Most of the time if you open it the warranty will be void. So, but yeah, I don't really care about that. Unscrew this one. Now you should be able to take it out. Um, this is where the SATA connector and the power supply uh, connector should be. So just take it out. They should unplug uh, very easily. And this is the hard drive itself, the bare hard drive. This is the only thing you'll need. Um, there's a couple of things here like Looks like a uh, chipboard or something. A couple of stickers here. And not really anything. Let's put all this stuff away. And now you'll need your PC. Okay, so as you might know, I've built my PC myself. Um, so I kept all the boxes and stuff. I kept all the stuff that came with my case in this box. Um, and in this box I found these things. And these things are the hard drive bracket, um, whatever you call them. And you screw these into your hard drive so you can put them into your case. If you don't have these then you can put it in an external hard drive enclosure and hook it up via USB to your PC. But I'm not going to show you that, I'm going to show you how to put it in your PC itself. Yeah, so. Uh, to begin, you take the side panel off. I just connect it because there is a fan in the side. Put your side panel somewhere that it can't be damaged. Put it against the wall. And this is the place where my hard drive goes, somewhere here. Uh, there's also a couple of cables there. Now I'll take my hard drive. table okay you'll need well, I'll need one of these screws and this thing and I'll get my screwdriver and put these in Oh, that's a hard drive and let's try and put it into the case now so it fits in so it does fit now so now we get our SATA cable and a power supply cable that, that should already be in your case. Yeah, let's begin to put it in now and put the SATA cable in. So now you take off the other side panel that's on the other side. It's the same as the um, other one. There are 
lot of cables there, but don't worry about them. I'm gonna put the hard drive into the case on the other side. So I put the hard drive in, um, if you notice a change, uh, my SSD, one of my SSDs was first there, but I moved it to the bottom of the case, right there, and I did that because um, I didn't have enough uh, power connectors otherwise, because it couldn't reach to the other hard drive. Got the old hard drive there, sorry, there and the new one there um, that's the, if you can see it, that's the power connector it's a bit dark that's the power connector there take it out so you can see it there that is the power connector um, it's only one way to fit it in because of that little hook you see here so don't force it in if it doesn't go in, push it in carefully, and now get yourself your SATA cable, this is mine, yeah. and find one of your SATA ports on your motherboard, mine is behind all these cables on this side of the motherboard, so there is the leftover SATA, uh, SATA ports because four are already in use and two are not in use um, so yeah let's just put the cable in there and hook this cable up on the other side to the hard drive yeah it's in Yep, the SSD got a power cable, they've all got power cables now. Now let's yeah, do some cable management and put the back plates, put the case back together. As you can see it's done now. Um, when you boot your PC it should automatically um, detect the hard drive. There's mine. There's mine and there's my PC. So um, yeah, thank you for watching, and it ho I hope it helped you out.